Hello and welcome to Wizard School, where our aim is to become the best wizard in all the lands. I cast spell at you. Yes. Yes, we have our first spell. And today we'll be branching out into a rather different uh, school of magic known as Thorncraft. Yes, Thorncraft. This is Barnabas, my robot. This is Tiddles, my cat. Say hello, Tiddles. Hello. Good girl. Um, right, so Thorncraft is a very interesting and very big mod. So we first start off by crafting the book. And to do that, we need to do a, a, a series of things. And the first thing we should do is find one of each of the six base Vis crystals in the world. And the best way I can do that is by going mining. So let's go down to that hole I found. Whoop! Ow. Um, oof. Good, good job for the slime slippers. Now, I, I want to fall in here, but not fall into the, uh, the other dimension. So we're going to have to just pull back on the stick. Yeah, like that. And now we're in a... Big chasm, and these are the crystals we need. We need to get six different types. Now I can see three already. Let's see if we can get them. Uh, here! Yes! No, oh, damn you. <laughs> Zombie knocked me off. I'll have my revenge on you, sir! <gasps> oh no! That's lava. <laughs> Ooh, it's going well! It's going well, guys. We've got a good, off to a good start here. Right, I see some orange crystals over here. So you want to collect as many of these as possible um, before you start off because they're going to be your bread and butter when you're doing Thorncraft. You're going to need a lot of these things all the time. So see if you can find as many as possible. And they do come in these big clusters, so you should end up with quite a lot. So here's some fire ones. Your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. Mm. Rest, you say? Well, we've gotten lots of fire crystals here. That's good. Good start. We've got 46 fire vis crystals and a free slime. Two free slime balls. Very nice. Well, that's good. A good start. We want to get the other the other five types as well, if we can. Uh, so there's some blue ones over there. Let's get the slime sling on my hot bar. Don't need that spell for now because I just can't get enough mana to cast it anyway. Whoop. Right, up there is some blue and some white ones, so... Excuse me. That's very rude. Yeah. What are you going to do now, sir? Take that, you scoundrel! Let's get on this block. Um, and we'll just sling ourselves up as high as we can. I think maybe over there looks pretty safe. Nope, not a chance. There we go, and wow, we could just we could just dig our way up, I guess. So let's um, let's build a bridge across. Could probably use some more ore for that. So these vis crystals, you can see um, this one is ignis, and it gives you one ignis per per crystal. But they're not only just for that; they're also for uh, crafting recipes. You need lots of them, lots and lots and lots. So just if you think you haven't got enough, keep digging because you're going to need lots. <laughs> All right, now, right, these are um, order crystals. Here we go. So let's grab as many of these as possible. Hope they don't fall in the lava. This is when you would, uh, an iron pick would be handy because you get the magnetic, which means that you won't lose things to lava. Still, we managed to get 45, so that's pretty good. So that's two of the types. Next, we can get these blue ones up here. And here we go. We're on the other side of them. Oh no. We lost them there. Let's be a bit more careful. Don't want to lose too many. They're pretty valuable. They're hanging out over this overhang. What a pain. I've built a little platform to catch them on. Oh. Heard that. Who was that? <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get if you try and start a firefight with me, the, the greatest wizard. Don't want to get into a firefight with the greatest wizard because I've got the wizard shot crossbow. 
Right, lots of, uh, what are these? Water crystals. So that's three of the type if you want. 51 of them, pretty nice. Uh, and there's more fire ones over there. We can leave them there for now. We want to get the other ones. There's some ones up here, some grey ones. So let's go and get them. Okay, we wrap the... These are entropy, these ones. You begin to feel comfortable holding the night slime pickaxe. Hooray, I've leveled it up. That's good. What does that mean? So now I'm comfortable. I think it just makes it better. Who knows? Right, so these are what... Oh, free slime. Hello. Let's say no. So these, what are these? Entropy. Great, that one. We've got uh, 33 of those. Perdicio. Perdicio crystals. Very nice. Uh, right, we need to go find another two types of crystals. So let's go exploring. Ah, I found a cave with many crystals in. There's entropy and uh, order, which I already have. I can always grab them for extras. And in here, we've got some Shoggoth ooze, but also some green ones, which is what we're looking for. Earth crystals. And some more fire as well over there, which we could use later. Maybe I should mark these on my map or just collect them. I'll just collect them. Why not? So next, we just, we just need one more, which I think is air. To find some air crystals somewhere. Yes. Give me the ooze. Uh, the yellow, I believe. We need to find some yellow crystals. Dear, I think we end up, we might be going somewhere shogothy. A little bit spooky. Hello. Ah! Die! Don't want to go anywhere shogothy yet. Not ready for that. Oh goodness. Oh, it's just an Enderman. I can shoot me this. Nope. <laughs> ah, more water crystals. How dare you? Get away from me. There's a big cave system here, and generally you find these crystals in, in cave systems. So that's what you're kind of looking for. And they... Oh, water. No. Might as well grab them, though, eh? Die, Enderman! There you go. Keep exploring the dark caves until we find some yellow crystals. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Don't you dare blow them up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not allowed, sir. Not allowed. Good. Perfect. We found everything we need. Right, now we can head back up to the surface and have a little nap. Little nap, little sleepy poos. All right, we're back home with all of these crystals. Let's put them in a special chest. Not that one, that is, this is wizardry. I've been putting wizardry in this one, oh dear. I'll mix that up in a sec. I'll put them here. These crystals, and grab these wizardry things and put them in here. That's not wizardry. Maybe we'll have other magical items here. Prismarine, sapphire, this thing. Okay. Right, so we got our these crystals. Next thing we need to do is go to bed. So we have to wait until night time. Okay. And it's night. We shall go and sleep in our new bed. Ah, oh, good morning. Okay, we've got this book now. Strange dreams. I had a strange dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding and ground them up with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be a different of different types. If I did it properly, then the results would be a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase. But the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder what I should do. Should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous, but dangerous. Wow, that's pretty self-explanatory. I need three crystals, a bowl, redstone, and a piece of flint. Okay, we can do that. Oh, by the way, I also built this ladder for ease of access to the tower. There we go. Much better than trying to slime my way up. Hey, Tiddles, how's it going? Meow, meow, good. Any presents for me? No? Hmm. What did I do wrong? <laughs> right. So we want to get some redstone. Uh, wood for a bowl. A uh, piece of flint. That'll be in here. Maybe 
these guys. Piece of flint. Yep. And the three of those crystals. Oh, we need a bookcase as well. Bookcase. Paper and leather and wood. Some wood. Paper and leather. Wonder if Tiddles is giving any of that stuff. Hmm, leather. Well, we need some paper, so we'll have to go down and find some uh, some rushes and make some paper. We're, also, we're gonna need a lot of paper for this next step, so we're gonna have to plant ourselves a reed farm. So first we need to find some reeds, and then we have to plant a big old farm of them. All right, I decided to change this little bit here into a sugar cane farm, because it already had sand and it already had water. Fantastic. Now, I can only find a few, uh, branches out in the wild, so I can't plant the whole lot because I also want to keep some for my books, obviously. So let's go back up to the top and start making some books so then we can make the bookshelf so we can sprinkle the magic dust on it. Yes, indeed. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So we need three books. So we've got three paper, th and there we go, three books. Okay, so we, then we combine that with some wood. There we go. Bookcase. Now, we need to sail us Mundus, so we'll go upstairs and do that. Use the ladder. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on, Duncan, you can ladder. I know, I know I'm famously bad at ladders. Famously. Right, so we want to have, I think we're going to use this bottom floor anyway for all this stuff. So we're going to put this, this bookshelf, uh, there. I'm going to make a Sailor's Mundus, so we have to, well, we need a crafting table for one thing. How is there not one of those down here? What a useless wizard I am. Crafting bench, um, we'll put that over here. So we need to make a bowl. So we had the bowl, and we have the bowl. Uh, let's look at Sailor's Mundus and see what the recipe is exactly. Sailor's Mundus doesn't say. So we're gonna have to just combine it as we say. So flint, uh, a redstone, and a bowl, and then three of the different crystals. So we'll go with the ones we've got the most of. We go for fire and Bordo and Pedicio. Pedicio. We'll put these along with the other thing. We're basically grinding the stuff into a bowl to make Sailor's Mundus. Now I think we're probably going to need more, so let's make. Oh, I've only got one redstone with me, so one. We'll make one for now. You get to keep these two things, that's handy. And we'll sprinkle it over the bookshelf. La la la! Oh, there we go. We have our Thormonomicon. I will open the book up and we have a whole book to explore. Fundamental 0%, first steps. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, so we'll look in the first steps tab and it says we now have uh, types of knowledge research complete. On the left, we have our knowledge totals, which is none yet. We haven't got any knowledge yet. We are useless. On the right, we have the recipes. Say this Mundus. That's diff different to what I did, but it worked. And then we have a quest. We have to make an arcane workbench. Hmm, so to make an arcane workbench, it should tell us here. A crafting table sprinkled with Salus Mundus. Well, we need more Salus Mundus, so let's go and get some more things. Hiya! Right. Oh, thank you. Give me a present, Tiddles. Oh, you're a very good cat. What have you got? Oh, yeah, some middle gem dust. Just gonna throw that off there. Oh, cauliflower seeds. Useless, right. Sailor's Mundus, Sailor's Mundus, Sailor's Mundus. We need more redstone and more flint. Take that. We'll take a bunch of stuff up there. We're gonna start, I guess we're not gonna use this place as much as we used to, so we'll start moving things up as we as we need to. Because uh, this will become our, our main place of work, and this will be our secondary blacksmith house. And maybe we'll even move the animals up there. They might be getting bored of living in a blacksmith's. But I guess it's nice and warm, you know, cats like warm. Stay near the snail tree. They probably love it, actually. Right! It's more Sailor's Mundus. So we've got the bowl and the flint already, that's fine. Uh, redstone and the crystals. We'll go for the seven Vs. How many should we make? Should we make... The full, the full lot. Let's make them all. Let's make hundreds. Um, seven. We'll make seven. Seven of them and seven of these. I already. Oh, I had some more 
Perdition crystals on me. Uh, that's why I had seven on me. Okay, well, that's fine. Seven, seven, seven. So it's Mundus all the way. Seven of it. Right, crafting bench. We'll use this one, I guess. Why not? Take... Oh, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> it just shot out. <laughs> oh. There's our new arcane workbench. Isn't it lovely? It is lovely. Should we move it? Let's move it. Hopefully it'll work. Arcane workbench. Right. Put it down there. And now we can look at the quest book. And it says First steps complete. Arcane workbench. Ta da! Progress! I now have an arcane workbench. Next, I need to make. Uh, a thorn thermometer. A thermometer. And this is the thing you use to scan everything with to get research points. Now the thermometer recipe is here. A single glass pane, uh, four gold blocks, and one of each of these crystals. Now these crystals can go around the circles here. You can shift click them in. Um, so we, need, we need to get at least. Well, let's take them all for now. Let's just let's just empty our bags. Is my God, what a what a mess and uh, pop all of these in my bags and we'll put one of each around the circle here ah, ah there you go, missing air there you go, whole stack in each, then we can put these ones back as spares look at this, we have 215 available vis in this chunk V? is it V or vis? I'm gonna call it vis, I like the word better V sounds weird uh, and now we need four gold bars and a glass pane I guess we can start moving stuff over. Whoop! Oh, that's <laughs> on the roof. All right. Uh, no gold there. Glass pane, I think, is down here. Got some of them. Got a gold block, perfect. And that is it. We've got some gold ore. We'll start smelting up some more gold ore. Could always use more gold. But this will be enough to get us to where we need to be for now. Once I've got the Thornometer built, I can start creating much more interesting things. I can't wait. All right, so the Arcane Workbench, here we go. So we put in the four gold. What does that make? Just nuggets. It's also a regular crafting bench, which is kind of handy. And the glass pane. And this will make the Thornometer. It will use 20 Vs from the chunk. And it will use one of each of these crystals. But uh done it! Ta-da! Right! There we go, so I made the thermometer. Now I need to get an observation of the fundamentals. Now to get observations, I have to uh, look in here on fundamentals, 6%. But I have to scan things, right? So let's start scanning stuff. So we've got here. Anything that glows blue is something I haven't scanned before. Jungle wood planks. I have learned something new. Diamond chest. Hmm. Shift. Yes, a sign. Good grief, the lag. This is not good for my FPS, this thermometer. A torch. Got something there. And the arcane workbench. Yes, lots of things from that. A bed. Yes, how about some marble bricks? Nothing. Uh, jungle wood planks, done that already. What about jungle stairs? Yes. Uh, a ladder! A, a trap door? Yeah, I need, I need a ladder. Come on, give me a ladder. Nothing. Rock! Yes! Grass! Yes! Oh! So many things! Oh! Okay. Uh, I think there's a bunch of cool stuff up here we can scan as well from our last wizard thing. Our last wizard foray. A crafting plate. Yes. Uh, quartz. Nothing. Uh, wisdom wood. Yes. Wisdom wood log. Yes. This thing. <laughs> Nothing. Some things don't seem to work. Others do. Magician's work table does work. Oak chest. Nothing. Workbench does work. Man. It's just actually really addictive just to run around and learn things. Uh, we got cobblestone. We got obsidian. Yes. Right, so we're looking at our book now. We can see all the things that we have learned. Here, we have two observations, fundamentals, one observation, oromancy, 
Alchemy, Artifice, Arcane Infusion, no Godomancy, no Eldritch. But there we go, we have lots of things learned there. And we can click complete now to get to the next chapter. Fantastic. Now we have a new thing called Aspects of Essentia Unlocked. And this tells us what makes what. So we know that this Desirdium and something makes vacuous. So I guess once we've learned these things, they will appear. Um, I am, yeah, I don't entirely sure what that's all about. But here we go. Uh, we've obviously used one observation fundamentals now to, in order to unlock this step. Um, but now we have a new quest, kind of. Okay, well, this tells us about Vis and Essentia and all sorts of things like that. But let's uh, let's just head back to the main screen now, and we can see now that we've we've got um, theory crafting to unlock, which needs a scribing tool and a research table. That'll let us start doing research. And we've got alchemy, which we can unlock, which I want to. There we go, alchemy. That means I can brew things using a crucible. Right, I think that's enough for today. Next time we will start work on the basics of alchemy. Make some nitre, make some other cool things. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be cool. Thorncraft is an amazing mod, it's really, really fleshed out, it isn't unfinished. Uh, you can cast spells without needing infinite mana. It's great! <laughs> Until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!